Hello, and welcome to The Lucy Lou Show, the fueling station for your mind, business, and life. And now, here's your host, Lucy Lou. Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you for tuning in today. Today, we are talking all about prioritizing. Have you heard of the quote, you gotta make it a priority to make your priorities a priority? It's so important because the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, or else you'll be forever in the hamster wheel, right? Chasing your schedule. And whether you're single or whether you have five kids, never going to have time for everything. So it's so Super, super important to have your priorities and know your priorities and understand how to prioritize. In case you're new here, I'm your life coach, Lucy Liu. And one of the things I love to do is to help my clients determine their values and priorities so that they're setting a successful foundation for a beautiful life, a thriving business, and happiness and abundance all over. And by the way, if you subscribe on my website, lucylucoaching.com, you will get an instant happiness toolkit that guarantees to give you that smile and vibrating higher energy immediately. Why I love the topic prioritizing so much is because my life used to be all over the place. I had a lot on my plate. I wanted everything in the world. I wanted success, materialistic things. I was chasing the skin. Schedule. I was chasing all things shiny. And guess where that led me to? You guessed it right. If you've been there, burnout, stress, unhealthy gut. That's why it's super important to me to tend to my priorities. So a couple episodes back, I talked about the different types of motivators. So according to your motivators, you need to set the reward for yourself. Celebrate when a major task is completed or you've accomplished a major challenge. But the problem is that with our hectic lives, usually you might feel too busy to celebrate the small wins. But the small wins makes a world of difference. And that's why I journal my daily wins every night before I go to sleep so that I'm absolutely going to sleep feeling like a winner. Acknowledge your accomplishments, even the smallest accomplishments. Don't move on to your next job without celebrating your previous success. You need to work on your skills of overcoming procrastination. You have to dig deeper into why you're procrastinating, why you're wasting your time, and stop the habit of procrastination altogether. And we'll talk about that probably in another episode. But prioritizing also means chunking down bigger tasks into little manageable pieces. When you have a list of 10 things to do, don't overwhelm yourself. Do yourself a favor. Circle three and prioritize them with one, two, three. Get them out of your way and that's going to give you the momentum to carry on. Just like a car, it's so much easier if you're at the top of the hill and you're rolling down, you've got that momentum, you've got your first three priorities down. Everything else on the list will be icing on the cake. Then of course, there's the D word, delegate. What can you assign someone else to do. This could be work-related or it could be personal. It could be house chores. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Hire and fire accordingly because you are the CEO of your life. You're managing your life. You get to decide. And once you delegate, once you ask for help, let it go. You have to learn that done is better than nada. So don't think about whether it's good enough for you or if it's done the way you do it. And if you are time blocking your days, protect your blocks. Think of your day as numerous large blocks of time divided into little blocks. And you got to be realistic with your blocks. And you really have to protect your blocks. For example, I set boundaries in my business to not schedule work when my daughter is out of school because my daughter is my priority. I teach my clients to design their life around their own dream schedules. 
Just a week ago, a client told a story. A client of hers was rushing her for her work to be finished before the deadline. But my client had specific time scheduled for that client's work, and the time isn't up yet. She was very scared she would upset her client. But because we worked on boundaries, because we worked on prioritizing her business, she stuck to her feet. As a result, her client did not get mad. She actually complimented on my client on how productive she was, and that she was very happy to be working together. See, if you're not setting your priorities and not working on your tentative schedule, the rush and the overwhelm is probably self-imposed, and it's not necessary at all. You've got to learn to say no. And of course, when you say no, instead of saying no, you say, "Oh, thank you," but right, you got to say it in a really smooth, nice way. And you're going to continually check yourself and check yourself again to see that you're working on the most significant things and assume ownership of your time. So most people would be surprised if someone else reached in their pocket without ask and just help themselves to the money they find in your wallet. Right? You would not let someone else do that to you. But how different is it that you let someone else just? Take your time, right? Your time is your possession. So take possession of your own time, and do not allow other people to make commitments of your time without your permission. Trust me, girl. It's not selfish to keep other people from consuming your time. Do not undervalue your time. I really encourage you to make list of your priorities and values. It's going to be a super short list. Maybe just three to five items on the list, but it's going to make a world of difference. When you prioritize, you're going to accomplish more in a fraction of the time, and you're going to get results faster. So remember, not everything in life can be a priority. So many things in our life are competing for your attention, but nobody has ever enough hours in our lifetime to give attention to. Everything and everyone in your life. You are making the choices. You are deciding where your time is going to go. Are you going to invest yourself? Are you going to put your time in a meaningful relationship? And remember, what's important to you is going to be different for others. So think of who, what, where is significant, meaning to only you. And if you have trouble prioritizing, start your day with affirmations around prioritizing. Some sample self affirmations around prioritizing could be: My first priority is myself. I schedule tasks at the right pace for me. I proactively decide what I should do first and what's important to me. I take something off my schedule before I add more on. I am able to delegate the things that I cannot do. I make time for fun and rest, and I will not be a workaholic. I am patient, tolerant, and I am growing stronger and stronger to be the very best version of me. To all the beautiful souls listening, thank you for joining me on this episode of the Lucy Liu Show. When I'm not podcasting, I am coaching high-achieving women in life transitions, getting unstuck, kissing overwhelmed goodbye, and living a more joyful and fulfilled life through strategic goal setting and mindset transformation. It would mean the world to me if you subscribe, rate, or share this with a friend. And don't forget to join me for the next episode. Remember, there is always a way, and more blessings. Things are coming your way. For free resources and show notes, head over to LucyLuCoaching.com. 